Spider-Man, Snyder-Man, friendly neighborhood dealer man, spins a deal any size, you got good stuff, he will buy, hey there, here comes the Snyder-Man, here comes the Snyder-Man, here comes the Snyder-Man, Snyder-Man. I love waking up and smelling the coffee. And that's what you do when you wake up to a doing your undercover quick art recap. Wake up and smell the coffee, y'all. Because we had some great stuff on the show. And uh, our our great point is doing over 30 grand between us and that, that we did accomplish that last night. So I'm happy, even though I got the win ripped out from under me by a last second buy from a customer I know and appreciate, but I don't know. Maybe I need to put a call into him. See, so like, hey, what's up? Anyway, uh, so we had some uh, great stuff offered and great stuff bought. We had a great atmosphere for Captain America, uh, the, uh, the theme of the show, and uh, the energy was great, and the costuming was great, and Sharon's cake was great, but my sugar wasn't, because I actually ate some, because she made a delicious eating cake. Usually, you know, our sculptural like this, you know, that's, we're not, you know, ever cutting that. And, and the, the big explosion broke off from gravity. So anyway. So let's go through, I had some good customers last night and uh, you know, great customers because um, one guy bought two things, one guy bought three things, one guy bought four things. So that was really cool. So Comic Art Boston, he came in with the show special of Sharon and me because I was dressed like Dum Dum Dugan. And of course, Bill had to, you know, capitalized on the fact that I was uh, cosplaying as Dum Dum and referred to me as Dum Dum the whole time, which is the antithesis of uh, what I am. Antithesis, okay. So Comic Guard Boston, he bought that one. That's the Steve McNiven. And what else did he get? Oh, the Alex Savia Hulk page. Let's do them by, by, by customer. And eh, let's not. Okay, so then we got um, then we got, uh, see, this is the one I have to, now I have to look and see who got what. All right, oh, okay, number one Marvel fan who's interested in the Captain America stuff. Uh, he got the Ethan Man Cyber Red Skull. Really nice, really nice. Thank you, number one uh, Marvel fan. And then we got the Al. Alberto G. He came in with not one, not two, Mm, mm, not three, but four claims last night. And what I told everybody, do I have it here? Uh, I gotta look again. I'm gonna put everybody that claims something on a, on a board, you know, with a ticket, uh, with a post-it and do a drawing for that, okay? So, and then Alberto, this is uh, uh, one of the, the lowest uh, priced ones he got, he got the, Humberto, Gon uh, Humberto Gonzalez, he got the Humberto Ramos um, sketch cover, pencil and ink, really nice. Thank you, Alberto. And then he got the Mike Perkins Baron Zemo. Yeah, isn't that cool? And that's still available, this is still available. Uh, and then Trevor, Trevor H, got the Dale Ingle, Eagle Sham uh, Villains United page. Thank you, Trevor. All right. Uh, this is still available. This is still available. I'm going to go back to the ones that are still available. Just want to find the sold ones first. All right. So, yep, that's still available. Okay. So, and then Mark came through with my big sale of the night. Uh, on a single piece. Actually, Alberto spent more, but Mark spent the most on one single piece is the Alex Saviuk. Spider-Man versus Hulk page from Webb. 
69, that's where Spider-Man becomes contaminated with some Hulk juice, right? It's Hulk juice, right, Rich? Yeah, Hulk juice. Some gamma Hulk juice. Well, that's how, and that's how they did it with the She-Hulk, actually. That she got contaminated with some Hulk juice and became She-Hulk in that accident. So we got that one and the Alex Savia, Comic Art Boston, oh, Mark, and oh, Jordan came through with a claim on this spectacularly detailed piece. Mark Morales, ink by Mark Morales. And Mark, I gotta give you all the credit in the world for, for this. I'm surprised you didn't keep this and put this on your wall. It's like, this is the most time I ever spent inking a cityscape, right? I think so. So Jordan came through with the coin on that one. And then Alberto again got, is that right? No, other way. Oh yeah, here it is. This great Greg Land and Jay Lyston uh, ultimate, ultimate power, uh, DPS, all fight DPS. And I gotta give them credit, you know, I gotta give the cr credit where credit is due. Like, if you're gonna put a DPS in a book, make it this good, you know, so I can sell something. Don't put a DPS of an interior of a lab that nobody really wants. You know, that's a waste of a DPS. This is the best use of a DPS you can make. It's all action all the time with a lot of babe heroes and villains and great Captain America and got a cool wasp and she's fighting a tiny guy here. I don't know who that guy is, but it's got the thing on it and just a great, and it's sold, yay. So I did a big deal with Greg Land and uh, this was the best piece out of it that I got actually. So that sold right away to, and that's to the Captain America fan. Oh, this is the Hulk battle page at Comic Art Boston claimed that was his second piece uh, so that was from web 69 as well but that didn't have any spider-man on it so it was uh, about half that spider-man Hulk double page that one uh, went and then Alberto again came through with an Epting Captain America page but this is from an important issue in the Ed Brubaker run where Bucky Barnes Bucky What's his name, James Buchanan? Rich? No? Okay, well he picks up the shield of Captain America for the first time and becomes the then Captain America after the death of uh, Captain America uh, storyline. So, my friend and attorney who's working on a couple things for me uh, is uh, a good a customer as well where he got these two pieces, the Macomb Teen Titans Robin cover and the John Buscema cover prelim. So we did a, a bundle deal for that and he always wants uh, a good deal uh, because he's my lawyer. <laughs> so, and then this claim, yeah. This was from Chuck, Chuck A. I uh, got the Wolverine Jim Lee sketch in his book that he made for the uh, sketches that he did while under lockdown. Uh, just keep the camera on this a little bit. Look at this. Yeah. I saw some of these going off on eBay. He did eBay with them to benefit local uh, businesses that were being affected by the lockdown. So that's the stuff that did sell. We're very happy about that. We did very well. Anytime I do that kind of number, look, it's happy, Anthony. Yeah, that was it. That was my happy face. I gotta show my happy face right there. Anthony's happy face. Okay. All right, stuff that's still available. All right, we got this cool Dark Seed, Dark Side, Dark Sidious uh, 
Superman versus Superman, and you got the, the classic uh, hair Superman curly Q versus mullet haired Superman. And he's very angry because people have been making fun of him for his mullet. So he, he's beat, trying to beat up the real Superman. And uh, this great Glenn Fabre uh, painted commission of Cassidy. Right? Cassidy? You say Cassidy? We say Cassidy. No, it's Cassidy. All right, painted piece going up on the website. And then this Paul Ryan thing splash, really cool, Kirby Crackle. Uh, that's going up on the website. And this George Perez iBots naked cover. Look, all the heroes are naked. Naked haunches, haunches. Got this great X-Men page with great team shot. Couple shots of Wolverine and then Rogue, all serious, pensive, looking like, oh, here comes trouble. And then we got this very nice Ryan Benjamin cover. Uh, Ryan Benjamin's got a good uh, system. He he pencils his art, then he digitally inks it and colors it, which is a very good system because this is the original art to the cover. Yay. And then we got this one, which is uh, Brian Bolin Tank Girl prelim. His is always on demand. You got a, a Sharon down there, wide-eyed Sharon. And these are the published, published covers. Look at, who else offers all these published covers? That's published iBots by Perez, published uh, Joe Jusco uh, based on the John Bessemer prelim, uh, published Mike McCone of the Teen Titans, and uh, Marvel Voices' Ryan Benjamin. I guess this is like a, a, uh, 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 an issue dedicated to Ryan Benjamin? I'm not sure. Uh, they used to, DC used to do a book called Solo that was kind of like that. Maybe he just did the cover. I'd have to figure that out. But that recaps the dueling deals of comic book art from Wednesday, January 25th. No, it was last night, Android. Last All right. So, uh, Pay attention to the website. We've got a lot of new stuff going up on the website. Uh, a lot of stuff, $500 and under, because I try to keep a $500 and over threshold for the doing dealers. And then what doesn't sell on doing dealers goes straight to the website the next day as well. So uh, we probably have at least 500 new things on the website in the new items gallery. So please check that out. And then for comics, magazines, collectibles, toys, all kinds of stuff like that, we have the eBay store. We still are dedicated to eBay where everybody else has gone on and what not and what's this and what, what's that and if not. Uh, but we're still dedicated eBay business, uh, doing uh, over 100 packages a day. So we're still uh, staying with eBay. So if you're doing business on eBay and searching for your comic and uh, magazines and collectible wants, please check our store out at Anthony's Comic Book Art Dash Online. And then we'll see you back next Wednesday on Bill Cox's Comic Art Live YouTube channel for a great session of Doing Deals Comic Book Art. Thanks for tuning in. Keep calm, keep collecting, and I promise uh, I won't spit on you.